welcome to another Friday fishing forecast and it looks like it's going to be an absolutely beautiful weekend uh, the winds are going to be light the temperatures are going to be perfect in the low 80s now I've heard the bite was a little slow offshore this week it was slow in the bay today when I did some fishing it was extremely slow so um, it might be a little slow due to these uh, this quarter moon that we're going coming into and uh, so you want to kind of keep that in your mind it's going to be a very long incoming tide both days so also keep that in mind but if you're gonna if you're gonna get out in the water this is the perfect weekend to do it it's gonna be absolutely beautiful uh, we've got a ton of bait at the at the shop we've got white bait we just got I just got white bait we've got tons of pinfish we've got tons of shrimp so we're stocked up and ready for the weekend Let's go ahead and talk about the tides and salooners for this weekend and see what we have in store. Here are the tides for Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday we have a low tide at 1.16 a.m. at a negative 0.3. Then we have a high tide at 5.11 p.m. at a 2.1 foot. Then on Sunday we have a negative low tide at 2.40 a.m. at a negative 0.3. Then a high tide at 6.08 p.m. at a 2.0. For the salooners, we have a major feeding time from 5.56 a.m. to 7.56 a.m. Then we have a minor feeding time from 11.35 a.m. to 12.35 a.m. or p.m. Then we have another major from 6.26 to 8.26 p.m. On Sunday, we have a major feeding time from 6.53 a.m. to 8.53 a.m. Then we have a minor feeding time from 12.29 p.m. to 1.29 p.m. Then we have another major at 7.20 p.m. to 9.20 p.m. So folks, as you can see, it's a very long incoming tide for Saturday and Sunday. So fishing those minors and majors are going to be very, very important, especially that major with the, with the sun going down. Uh, I've talked about this all the time. Those fish should put on the feedback during those times because the tide is going to be moving slightly, not too, too much, but that's going to be the best time. I, I, I will never forget when I used to guide. I used to really plan my trips around the salooner periods, if, especially if we had slow tides like we did today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Uh, I can tell you right now that the bite in the bay today was very slow. I only fished for about an hour, but it was extremely slow, but I didn't hit a minor. I missed the minor, so I was kind of in between. I was catching bait and doing all kinds of other stuff, but I would highly concentrate on those minor majors with these slow moving tides inshore. Offshore I heard the bite's been a little slow. I've seen reports to where it's just been a very tough tough bite and I think that has to coincide with the lack of water movement out in the offshore element. I'm hoping that it picks up a little bit this weekend. We're probably going to have to fish pretty hard to, to find some fish but I'm confident that we will. What else is going on? Oh, we've got, like I said, we've got plenty of white bait, plenty of pinfish, plenty of shrimp, frozen bait. All your needs are here. Drinks, ice, snacks, everything you need is right here at TBFC Bait and Tackle. Now the inshore bite, I've heard it has slowed down also just because of the tides. Before the tides got real slow, the bite was unbelievable. The baits on the flats, uh, I, I'm seeing baits everywhere pretty much. So uh, if you're looking to go out and catch your own bait, there's plenty of bait to be caught. That's just about it for this weekend. Like I said, it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Uh, hardly any wind. You're going to get the sea breeze like we've got now, but that's a welcome sight, when, especially when it's warm. This weekend it's going to be somewhat warm, and but the winds are going to be light, so I think the fishing is going to be good. The weather's going to be great. So if you can get out there, I definitely would get out there. Both days are going to be beautiful. Again, I just want to say thank you to everybody for all of the support. We really, really appreciate it. We just keep growing and growing with the bait shop. And we can't thank you enough, especially for all the people that have come, come to us and said, man, I really love the shop. I love the layout. It just feels really cool here. And, and uh, we, we try to supply the best customer service that we possibly can. So if you are in the area give us a chance we'd love to serve you again thank you so much for watching i'm going to get back to fishing videos i promise fish more catch more and we'll see you on the flip side